Valentina Tavlui gets emotional when she remembers what happened here in February. We were sitting in the kitchen. We never expected that we'd be bombed. I was sitting in front of the window when the explosion threw me to the floor. I don't remember much after then, but after that I fled to the forest. It was April before she returned to pick up the pieces. Zalicia, her village northeast of Kiev, saw fierce fighting as Russian troops tried and failed to take Ukraine's capital. Can you imagine? All the roof was damaged, the windows, the doors. Thank God the walls were still standing, and the Red Cross helped us to repair the roof. But there are people who lost everything. The estimated cost of rebuilding Ukraine keeps spiralling upwards. In September, the World Bank said it was $350 billion. A month ago, Ukraine's government guessed $750 billion. Now, President Zelensky is saying one trillion. Non-governmental organisations like the International Committee of the Red Cross have some money to help, but it's millions, not billions. Of course, we can't help all of people here, so we focus on uh, the most vulnerable population here. So it's uh, big families with many children and uh, people with a low income, mostly elderly people, and also people with disabilities. Their cash handouts can be used for whatever repairs are most pressing, but snow and ice have brought most building work to a standstill, so new registries like Zineda might have to wait until spring. Winter is not an abstract concept, particularly during wartime, whereas in the warmer months you'd probably be OK living in a building like this with blown out windows or a damaged roof. When the temperature plummets, such conditions really take their toll. Metal cabins house some whose homes are uninhabitable, but their mains powered, so in the frequent blackouts, they quickly become refrigerators. Valentina is trying to stay positive. It could be worse compared to our boys in the trenches. They're freezing. I keep active during the day, but last night it was a bit scary when the lights went off. I put on my hat, my hood. The electricity was off from 1 until 9 p.m. But winter has only just begun. It's going to feel like a very, very long one indeed. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Kiev region.